Well, I can't see here, but here it's out the airport. For those of you who know, I don't know if you get that in there. I hope I am. Keep it right at it. Can't see your face. That is one of our freight liners leaving here. A lot of them come and go. You can see way over there, power plant. Uh, that's down the inlet. That's Fire Island where they want to put windmills. But look, right down here. Okay, feel the wind. There's no wind. There's a little bit of wind. And I suppose that it could, you know, I don't know. I have not done the test. But look at this water, okay? You can see the curvature of the earth from there. But this water right here, all right, you ready for this? That can be as high as 38 feet, 35 foot tide right there. Second highest in the world. Bay of Fundy's first. Uh, I hope I'm still talking to y'all. Yeah, I am. You know, I looked over here. Oh, one of these big Model A's or Bays or T's or. But I uh, thought I'd let you have a little story about this. You see that rear view mirror? My grandfather put. That's not the original one, but my grandfather made a bracket that and he patented it and they all had to be shipped in wooden boxes of a certain size like one by four by whatever and it had to be made out of oak and he went up to Henry Ford's office one day and their company and saw this guy in the corner taking apart all these boxes that he had to ship those rearview mirrors in and what they were doing was they were taking those boxes and they would become the floorboard of the model A or T. So that's a little story about that. In case you're ever wondering how they got the rearview mirror. And that's the kind of entrepreneurship we need in today's market.